want to sit down and I call you funny, but you're not my funny anymore. I've just put up with you way too many days, too many years. It's just taking a toll on not only myself, but my family, and everyone else to call. Therefore, just consider this as my recommendation about graveyard cars. I think I can get better off by myself. But maybe I have to get to work on my car and take it out of your establishment. Maybe the parts will become missing as they have become over the years. I actually have been in contact with the Springfield Police Department. They're going to be talking to you soon. They're going to conduct a full investigation on your shenanigans here down in Graveyard Con. Um, I guess you won't really be hearing from me anymore in the future, but I am going to come out and use your shop. Because yeah. that's what I think you do. Yeah. And I'm sure the police, Springfield Police Department will be looking forward to talking to you about the, the things that have happened over the last few years. Thank you, buddy. Is he not coming in? The unburied dead, the unburied dead are coming back to life, are coming back to life. My name's Mark Warman. I'm Darren Kirkpatrick. And we get paid to bring dead cars back to life. We work with my best friend, Royal, and my son-in-law, Josh. We search far and wide to find how a car was built, where it spent its life, and how it died. After that, we bring it back to look exactly the way it did on the day it was born. If we don't kill each other. Just shut your mouth before I actually punch you out. Can I leave a handprint on your face? We're a mile wide right now at Graveyard Cars. Um, we have a lot of cars in progress. Mark and Elaine is 70, Cuda 383, uh, is finally off the rotisserie, loaded onto a dolly, and has all of the sheet metal aligned, installed, and ready for final put together. Our Daytona Charger has the nose cone installed on it and mocked up into place, as well as the rear wing, so we can do the final body and paint work on it. And once that's done, we can move it over for the final assembly of it. And one of the things I'm really excited about is we now have all of the OEM factory specifications for the location of the interstructure and floors on our 1971 Phantom Cuda. Putting that car together now is possible and more possible than ever with this critical data. Our black Phantasm Cuda is getting dangerously close to being done. Beautiful car. Uh, we have about a month's worth of work left on it in final assembly and we can return it to the customer who's anxiously waiting for it. And still waiting for their spot inside the shop is the 1971. 70 Plymouth Barracuda 383 two barrel convertible, the 1970 Alpine White Plymouth Superbird, and the 69 and a half M code 446 pack four speed Super B. Merrill Haggard, I'm gonna try and Love get, it. I'm trying, I'm trying to get Mark to come for Love it. The Fools. Whoa. Yep. Not me. Idiots. Ain't gonna be me. I can't wait till someday he does something like that and he falls face first and splits his skull open. That'd be awesome. I want to get about really? 50 in real life. Are, are you, you thinking about what you would actually do? Well, you do? act like you're all out <coughs> a bag of chips. Anybody could do that. I could do it right now. <laughs> really? The only difference is. Could this hold your weight? I can, even though I'm only a string beam. The only difference between the way we did it, I would do it more like an Olympian. I would have stuck it. You were all over the place when you hit the ground. Okay. I'm going to give that a one. Can we go? Warner, roll over. Oh, dude. Like, I'm so happy. Look at me, everybody. I can clear nowadays. I can I can it jump over something. Matter. And and I can walk and my joints oh, articulate. Oh orange. wait! I'm a human! Who gives a Frenchman's f You can't say that wait on up. TV. I can wait say up. whatever I want, whenever I want, you chrome-headed mother Don't do it. Just got to work a little bit ago, checked my messages. Uh, Chips had called, told me he quit, which is fine, it's just part of the game. I pretty much tuned them out after about 30 seconds. We're doing brake lines, uh, emergency brake cables, and buttoning up the bottom side of the car. Uh, at that point, we just have a little bit under the hood and it's ready to start and run. I think we'll have a really positive day today. Uh, Royal and Josh seem to be on their game and they're ready to go to work. Uh, Chips isn't here to bring everybody down, so I think we'll get a lot done. That's the whole point, you see. Yeah. He <laughs> You guys don't know because you haven't known it since 1995. It's all part of the game. When you have two hours, you never want to get back in your life. I'll play you the message. It's the most ridiculous. He just rambles on and on and on. Well, I kind of wish Darren was here. That wouldn't take Mark's focus off of us, but 
since he's not, I guess. We'll still get some work done. I'd like to see the bottom of the car buttoned up today so we could let it down and start putting the interior into it. I think we are gonna make a lot of progress on the CUDA today. Um, with Mark's happy attitude, Royal, of course, being Royal. Royal's a good man. And then me. We're gonna get a lot done. I've got the fuel line kind of mocked into place. It just needs to be supported and connected on both ends. For And the flex line I got in on the back off the axle housing, so it needs to be the connected. The guys are working really hard to help me out, and I appreciate that. Uh, but it's very important that they slow down and focus on the job at hand and make sure that they're doing it right the first time. We don't have time to do it again. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I love that hoist. <laughs> I'm so in love with uh, that hoist. Uh, Z-bar yeah. for the... All my uh, days, I uh, never uh, had one that had the rolling bridge jack. I always wanted it. And this Here's is watch linkage, Here. sorry. Okay, so, sorry, Royal, I was talking. Mark, said, Mark likes other people to listen to him talk, and I would rather see myself working. Thank you, Royal. Yeah. I went in there Stations. to find this, but instead I found Mark, oh. I mean, Mrs. Warman's manicure pedicure set. <laughs> it actually looks like it's been used. What's what are you Mark's? talking about? I'm very familiar with it. I think it's a mustache set, isn't it? I don't even know if I ever opened it. Really? You use that for your mustache? Yeah. What do you use, a chainsaw? You put it down, please, and get underneath here and go to work. Today, we actually need to get some work done for as much as I know you don't want to, we need to. You would actually think with all the time that we spend in the shop working on cars, that most of this hard work would be nearly done or done. Uh, but I think it's because I'm the only one that really focuses on what needs to be done and actually has an agenda, a punch list, and goes through it. One, two, three, four, five, done. I, I don't want to do anything. Okay. I'm always here. So, Royal, we'll lift the car up off of the body and pull the wheels off. Ready? Cue ball doesn't think ahead like that. He's going to blame me for taking stuff off his car, and I'm going to start taking it. <laughs> A little bit more. Oh, actually, right there. Yeah, that's yeah, what I up. say. I think that's a good call. That's good. Royal and I have worked together on these cars for most of our adult lives. And once we get a rhythm going, like now, we can really turn and burn. We can get a lot of ground made up in a little bit of time. You're saying that goes like way over there, right? Hey, yep. Now, this is the fuel line? Oh, I don't know, Royal. That's what you had up there. <laughs> you took yeah. the labels off. No, you took the labels off. Uh, depending on the car you're working on, the year, the engine, there are multiple choices for fuel lines, vapor lines, return lines, etc. So um, in this case, it's very important to leave all the original instructions and labels on the tubes until they're installed. This is the tank line. That's the tank line? Small block tank line, yeah. Oh, well, why did you try to put this in there? The cue ball doesn't think ahead like that. He can't wait to get those. He's obsessed with the idea of getting those labels off of there. You had it setting up in there, dude. Seriously. This one has to go up through here. See how that hugs around there like that? Yep. So for that to go up into there, that will ride there. So that all goes up in there like that. So So if you were to feed that through right now, can you? Uh -huh. Did you straighten out a bend? These lines come in a box so they don't have to uh, ship them in this huge oversized box. So what they do is they attach this on here at the bin. So what we had to do is straighten it out, but we're just not sure if it goes perfectly straight. And that's what we're doing now is ironing out that it's a straight line so we can put the rest of the lines in. Oh, you should be somewhere close. I'm getting real close, right? right. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get this. No. Which one did I straighten out? I think you straightened it here. Yeah, there and here. How can I hug this? It hugs it in here, you think? Yeah. Oh, okay. No chance okay. Yeah. That so is. you got a bracket here. Got a bracket I tried to do here. what I had to do. So it has to be. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's I, what I've I got was... about a foot here, though, just so you know. I need to go forward about a foot. Forward about a foot? So should we turn it? Nope. It just hit me. Darren actually is beginning to look like a rodent. He's getting rodent face. Hi, Josh. Hi, Royal. Hey, Darren. <laughs> hey, D. What's up, D? Oh, I came in to work on my car, there buddy. What are you doing? You going to work on your car? Oh, yeah. What? You want to help? What out, man? I'm sorry. You want to help, Royal? I should be executed for that. Do I want to help? Yeah, after yeah. I get this done. OK. Right there on that crevice, don't you think? Yep. Right, is like that right that. there, is that clamp? Yep. And you should have a clamp. So we can raise it up and put right all here. those clamps on. Hopefully I still have an engine in here. Oh, 
Wow, look at this. So Chips has found a chip in his paint. <laughs> the irony of it, that actually makes me feel better. Nice, they do good work here, don't they? Wow. Here we go again. Now he's gonna complain about the paint peeling and blame me for it. The car's been sitting out under a tarp for the last 10 years in the rain and the snow and the sleet and the hail, but I'm the bad guy because his paint's peeling. Here we go. And that's sanitary, that's how it is. That's factory replacement stuff right there. My cover is still on there. Yep, it's a miracle, huh? My coil, dead gummit, Mark. Coil bracket's missing, all that stuff is missing. Dang it. Do you have that muffler bracket? The bracket um, bolts on there? there should be, there's a thousand of them, I don't know. Look in that first Challenger though and see, I seem to remember they got a nickel cadmium finish on them, I will tell you that. The first Challenger. Where is the? Not Darren's, right? Huh? Yeah, not Darren's. That's great. If Darren's car has parts on it and we need them, you take them, that's the new rule. Came down here to work on my car. I'm gonna get some of my tools that are inside, and I'm also gonna borrow some of Mark's tools because, you know, I was graveyard cars, or I am graveyard cars still, more or less. He's gonna, he's gonna blame me for taking stuff off his car, then I'm gonna start taking it. Plus, he owes it to me. It's gonna be like a, gonna be like a wrecking yard when I'm done. Pilfered by graveyard cars, what's left of a car that was complete at one time. There's so many things missing off this car that were here when the car was brought here to graveyard cars. I just love that. That to me is just a turn on. I mean, it's just like, I love it when things go the way they're supposed to go. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go get some tools, I think, and get started here. So what I want to do, at this point, let's, um, I'm gonna have you take the drum off. Let's try to put the emergency brake cables in place, the parking brake cables, if that's cool with you. Yeah. Okay, I think we have everything to do it, and it looks like it's all right. You are going to have to find us a bracket for the flex hose for the rear brake line, okay? This bracket's actually been taken out. I'm not sure about that, Royal. That one may need to... You only got three to go. Yeah, see, that little one doesn't go then. Okay, so you probably got all three. Yeah. Okay, great. I can use these, these are mine too. I'm not gonna have any tools left. It's a hairy turd, do you see that? Ugh. All right, I'm not even going near that one. Okay, and this one is actually gonna be impossible to get under because it still has the rear valance and the gas tank is in it. I can't wait to the police start talking to him about some of the missing pieces too. He's gonna have to make it right. I'm actually worried that the lines of reality for Darren are getting erased more every day. I begin to worry now if he even possesses the minimal basic skills to be considered a human. So Darren's quit. Chips. 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 Chips, chips. is quitting working on. Chips is uh, quit working ah. graveyard cars, which he says was all about him in the beginning anyway, and is now going to focus on restoring his 1970 Dodge Challenger. Heck, I can probably use some of this stuff from my car here. Upper dash insulated pad, 70E body. Huh, nice. This is like Christmas around here anymore. I can see, what I, I can see why I enjoyed this so much. Anything in the car is mine. Everything outside the car is mine. You know, that's what he's done to me over the years. Yep. I don't think so. It does, and it goes in from the front. It does not go like that. What? Yeah. Okay, so this one's got one. I wonder if I go and I check that CUDA out up there. That's a, like a later model. It's like a later model 70 CUDA. It flips around 180. This? Yes. No, it doesn't. Are you sure? Yeah. Yep, I can use that. Shoot, this is just like Christmas, isn't it? I think better, um, this is better than Christmas. I don't have to give anything back to anybody. It's all take. I can use these things. Oh, look at that. That's weird, isn't it? Looks like I was right again. <laughs> huh? You had this thing flipped around. You were trying to put this thing on the other way. No, I didn't. 
what is happening? Am I the only one here with any kind of a conscious touch of reality? That's what I'm looking for right there. Lo and behold, on the car that has been demolished completely out of every single car here in the, in the graveyard. I find it a little bit questionable that of all the cars that are here, Josh found the one and only bracket we could use on the car that was suspended to his perfect height so he could walk up, covered with an awning, undo the bolt, bring it inside, and hand it to me and, and get his Scooby snack. Out of every car in the graveyard, right there. So when you press on the brake pedal inside the car, it will pull on this cable. So that's our parking brake. Penny stolen is a penny saved, right? You know that? I think I'm horrible. Darren's stealing, he's doing all this stuff. Yeah, hey, what's over here? <laughs> he accuses me of taking parts off his car. I'll take parts off his car. You go by chips or chips. We all just really need to pull together as a team and work together. Check it out, dude. Stop the 71 440 six barrel CUDA. Uh, sorry. It is, it's been dipped. <laughs> yeah. Well, look at that though. That's supposed to be flat right there. That's yeah. funny. Poor old car. I've been out to every single car out there and none of them have them. Every single one has been welded on. I don't know when they did it and I need to get in the book and look, but my guess is don't scratch my lift. I'll kick I'm your not. teeth in. Late, late, late. So like the last couple of months at least I know of 70, they were bolting on that bracket, okay? So that's probably why most of the stuff out there is earlier 70. So that came off the 71, which makes perfect sense. Right. Let me go ahead and straighten it before you blast it, but then it needs to be glass beaded. You know, this is a great example of why restoring a car to OE specs is so difficult. If we go out to find this bracket and the bolt that holds it on, it has to be the right bracket the right finish, the right shape. The bolt also has to have those characteristics. It has to have the right finish on it, the right thread pitch, the right head markings. All of these things are to put one small tiny bracket on the bottom of a car. There's only about 40,000 other pieces that still have to go on the car. So this will go on the, uh, the 71 now. Why what? are you sitting here talking to yourself? Cool. Who's talking to myself? Who are you talking to? Josh and oh. Darren. Don't know a Darren. Don't know Darren. Is Chips here? Chips? Where are you going, hey, D? Do you want to? See you Chips! Want... See you, bud. Hey, no, come back. Darren, please, no, don't go. I gotta get something. I've been poisoned already this little period of time I've been here. I feel like I've been poisoned. Hey, many Christmas. You know, now that Sir Chips a lot has made his exit, we can actually get back to working on the CUDA, get the wheels put on it, lower the car down, start putting the interior and the rest of the pieces on it. So All right. You got that in? Go ahead, let's put the wheels on it and let it down. Wheels so I want to raise it up some more so we can button up the tubes we have put in. Did you catch that, fool? Yeah. You need me to lift that one up for you, Mary? I got mine, I got two nuts on already. Me and Royal used to work at J.C. Penney Auto Center together back in the late 70s. And uh, taught him everything he knows about this industry, the auto industry. And uh, even to this day, if it's anything automotive, I'm still twice as fast as him. Well, uh, you still think you're fast, but you know damn good and well. You, you know this me. from history. You only beat me by six seconds. I always beat you. Didn't matter if it was six seconds or six hours or six days, I always beat you. Well, it's That's... just because you're mental. No, it's because... You mental, it's because... mentally beat me down. No, it's because I force myself to be the best I can be every single time, whether I'm taking a dump or putting wheels on, okay. whether I'm punching somebody in the head more information or running a marathon. Either. I'm the best I can do. Tight, right. Tighten them down and let's... Uh, you get the uh, 13 16ths, three quarters. Socket was on this. No, it was and on I wanted this to... and I thought you took it to do Then something you took it else. off over there, fool. I don't know. No, I took you. I don't know. I gotta go. I gotta go to work. You don't have to go anywhere. Tighten the lug nuts down. Where's the socket I don't have a socket. At? You took the socket. I didn't take any socket. I, you know, I don't know what to tell you. You know, we're moving along really good on the CUDA. Uh, all of a sudden, everything comes to a complete standstill because I can't find any of the tools. Tools that are probably still warm from being in my hand five minutes earlier. Three quarter, 13 sixteenths. I gotta go, I gotta be. What the size office. are they? Three, 13 sixteenths, I'm guessing. I've got one here, but you didn't put it back, right? No. 
It was on that, I, the last I seen it was on that ratchet, because I had that one to take off. Okay. That good one to do Why it. do you have to leave? I've got to go to work. This is what I'm talking about. Wrong parts, missing tools, and Chrome Dome, who wants to run home, says he has to go to work, when I know darn good and well what he has to do is go home, get his six string out, and start playing the same six chords, the only six chords he knows, to some classic 60s rock album. I've learned an E chord, a G chord, a C chord, and a D chord. See ya. Have you seen the torque wrench? Nope. So while I'm looking everywhere for the tools to put the CUDA back together again, here comes Long Turd carrying the bracket I sent him out for three and a half hours earlier. Okay, that's a half inch. Where's the? That did was you take the one that was in it? Did you take the ratchet? Oh no, I. Where's didn't. all the sockets at? I haven't touched any of those, man. Okay. As I was putting the 71 CUDA together, I noticed more and more my tools were missing. Uh, I looked around the shop for a little bit and it, it kind of hit me out of the blue. Was Darren using tools? Out of his car? I yep, think he was. out of his car. I've been down this road before, so it's the reason I'm not mad. It's the reason you check my blood pressure and it's just perfect. Is he actually doing anything on his car? Is this his heater box? Actually, I think that is his heater box, and that's a good one. Good. Go put that over there next to that. Put it in the Challenger bin. Just became mine. Number one. Okay, this is all you. I'm not getting involved with you guys. You do what you. I say. He accuses me of taking parts off his car. I'll take parts off his car. See? Headlight door for a CUDA. He didn't have one of those. Why is he stealing that? It's a thief. God, he doesn't take care of this car. He doesn't deserve this car. He doesn't take care of it. He'll take my tools, and wherever he's used them last, that's where they'll be. So once I realized they weren't in the shop and there was too many missing to just be somebody misplacing it, I realized I had, I had gotten chipped again. Somehow I have the weird feeling he hasn't used any of my tools. He put them out here so I wouldn't be able to find them, or he knew I'd find them, because I know he always leaves his tools wherever he last worked at. God. I, I came up in the office to get me another drink, and uh, Darren was sitting at my computer, probably destroying it. Who knows? It may not work. But uh, it was important for me to let him know he didn't get me. Well, this will fit my car, won't it? Hi, Chips. Hi, Chipster. Who are you talking to? You go by Chipster or Chips? How about Darren? How about Chips? Darren will be fine. Yeah. You know what I'll be doing the next week? Fixing the chip on the door you put in there. What chip? Boy, another thing. If you think for a second that the tool, my tools that you hid out in your car bothers me, you know where I went? I, I looked around the shop for like two minutes and I thought, well, wait. Darren used tools to work on his car. My tools. They shouldn't be back in the toolbox. They should be underneath his car in a pile of cat food my tools. or spread all over the back lot. Why would my tools be in here? They should be in my car. They're not your tools. They Anytime are my, you think, they are my tools. Produce a receipt and you can have them, Doc. I don't have a receipt for them, Mark. You don't have a receipt? Oh, no. Well, then they're not your tools. And so even though we tried to take a couple last minute jabs by saying tools were his or whatever, um, I'm, I'm, I'm on to it. I'm, I'm like Teflon now. So I'm, you just spray a coat of D Darren on me or D chips, sorry, all over me and nothing sticks. Hey, where's, where's Royal? I need to Royal talk to is, Royal unlike you, is at work. While I am desperately trying to put this CUDA together and meet a deadline, I got that maniacal SOB out there plotting on me. Hey, Royal, this is Darren. Darren Kirkpatrick? Don't play the game with me, Royal. Darren, chipster, there you go. Oh yeah, now you know who it is. Hey, would you like to go camping? Yeah, we'd like to go tomorrow. That's not a good idea to you. We'll see you in the morning, all right? Thanks, bye. Peace. <laughs> it's a 
some goofball. Hey, you want to go camping? Mark said you guys take tomorrow off. Go camping. Mark said that we can go camping. Is he going? Oh, yeah, dude. All right. I'll All have right. to text you and let you know what time we're going to meet up here, I think, tomorrow. OK, yeah. I'll text you. I'll text you tonight. Cool. All right. Awesome. You doing OK? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you OK? Yeah. Never better. Why was that awkward? Talk to you later. You're awkward. Hey, Mark likes the yellow ones, doesn't he? <laughs> Darren like yellow, too. Mark just get, now got a new favorite flavor, something besides yellow. So I'm trying to get hold of the guys, and they're up camping. You guys like wieners? You mean hot dogs? Hot dogs. Howdy. That didn't help. So I got in bright and early this morning to do some work. Uh, got a lot of cleaning done, got some organizing. Sat down and realized that I was the only one here. So I'm trying to get hold of the guys, and first thing I get is Josh, who has some weird self-indulgent Muzak playing, like he's some important person. Royal's voicemails all whacked out. Hey, you miss Royal. Um, give me a call, and I will call you back. Leave a number. Uh, beep. I had to reserve this. I had to reserve this because there was a waiting list here. I reserved it about three or four months ago. And where the f are my lemonade rock stars? This Mark. Hey Mark. I'm here at the campground. We're waiting. I'm waiting for you and the others. What do you mean where the f am I? Where the f are you? Yeah, we all we planned this out weeks ahead of time. We reserved the spot and everything. It's Saturday morning. It's been paid for. Everybody's supposed to be here working. Why do you do that? You know that's the answer. Josh and Royal are on their way also. You're supposed to be here at nine o'clock. We're getting a bad connection. I think it's because of the weather. Or something. Anyway, we're gonna expect you here. We'll see you in a little bit, okay? Why in, in the name of all that is holy in this land would I possibly want to go camping with you? I reserved a spot with your Visa card, remember? Oh, well, F y'all then. That's fine. I can put the car together all by myself. Might actually get more work done. I'll give the rodent credit this time, OK? His usual plans aren't this well thought out. He actually spent some time plotting on me. Not only did he stab me in the back, but he got my two guys to stab me in the back and go up and do some self-indulgent, weird-ass camping thing. I hope, hope you burn in a forest fire. No, he didn't hang up. Must have been a bad connection. He wouldn't have hung up on me. <laughs> wow, OK. Every single Saturday for the last seven years, my key hits that lock at 9 o'clock. Everybody knows that. Everybody's supposed to be here. Instead of them being here, I get a phone call from the human dolphin to tell me they're up camping. Him, Royal, and Josh, all of them together, and supposedly, they all think I'm going to go, too. Good. What's up, what Darren? is this? What are camping. we doing? We're going to have a camp out. We're camp having out. a camp you out. You, you can't camp in the city park. Local park. Yeah. What's wrong with it? Sorry to burst your bubble, Pally, but we can't camp here. What? Did you not read the sign? We're camping open flames. OK. This will be a great opportunity for me to prove what I always say, which is I can do it completely without them. I, I have them here for them, not for me. Okay, this is, this is what I do every day since I was 12 years old. I don't need anybody holding my hand to do it. So I'm installing the, the retainer clip for the fuel lines that run. One's a fuel line and one's a vapor return line. 
So I put those in place. These all go back into factory holes. Classic Tube makes these. They do a phenomenal job. And there you have it. You guys like wieners? You mean hot dogs? Hot dogs? Oh, I call them wieners. We'll go. Make sure they're burning. Okay, let's go. Let's go play for a little bit. Come on. Uh, so I'm letting this down right now so I can install the uh, vent tube that goes in the back of the, back in the trunk section that all of the lines that come out of the fuel tank vent into. I think basically what this did was allow the vapors, the unburned vapors at the front up near the engine to come out of that breather cap and work its way back down to the tank again. So it was kind of an early version of recycling or evaporator or emissions control. Uh, so this tube, go, this tube goes inside the car. So the vent lines go down through there. There's a collar right here. I think so far I'm doing really good. I got quite a bit done on it. Uh, vapor lines are locked down. Vapor return or uh, vapor vents in place. So I think overall it's going really well and I'm not really getting bugged and torn and pulled apart at the seams like I usually am. I'm not chasing down tools not chasing down parts that I know I cleaned and detailed a week ago, but now for some reason mysteriously are gone. I think this is great. This is, and I'll be able to prove my point that I probably could do more by myself than with all the other guys here at the same time. I suppose the idiots are having a blast up there. They, uh, they're too stupid to know any better. I think it's just a time to relax, you know, get together some good quality food and maybe do a little, just playing. Play around a little bit, have a little fun. <laughs> Okay, I'm good. Okay, what okay, is that? What is that? What is it? It's poop. <laughs> <laughs> Catch it! <laughs> oh, by the way, during your rant. <laughs> you <laughs> just <laughs> broke it. <laughs> Royal. I, ru I ruined it for Holy everybody. Shit. Welcome. What is wrong with you? I ruined it for everybody. Evidently, the slider has a weight limit, and I exceeded it. And man, that was awful. All I can think of was the poor little kids that have no place to glide and slide anymore. Get loose again. Uh, no. I don't do something really stupid. Don't do something silly. <laughs> get over here closer, fool. Come on, get oh. over here. <laughs> Get closer, really. <laughs> you know what? This is actually a lot of fun. I'm glad I came today. Okay, so I've got to finish putting on the shift rods. Four speed. Because you have to, I had them all mocked up on the uh, engine cradle, but it, the reverse rod goes underneath the cross member, so it has to come off. So um, I just need to get it put back in, and then I can adjust the linkage. And that's gonna be right, if I can see something. Can't see anything. Uh, light. Okay, that's about the only thing I could imagine using somebody for is that those little things like that, just getting a fetching this and fetching that. <laughs> I used to love to do that to Darren. Oh, I fetch. <laughs> okay. All right, torsion clips on. That's a clip on there. Okay. And that's that. Okay. Well, I, I've been actually burning pretty good on the 71 Cuda. Uh, I finished buttoning up literally everything that could be buttoned up on the bottom side of the car. I, I wouldn't want to say I got to have the guys to be able to finish the car, okay? But there are things that just take two people to do. I can't adjust the clutch because I need somebody in there to press on the clutch pedal and tell me how much free play it's got. I could add fluid to the rear axle, but I can't bleed the brakes because I don't have anybody to pump, because I don't have anybody to pump the brake pedal. Howdy. Well, speak of the devil, I'm working on your car right now as we speak. So while I'm wrapping up the bottom side of the 71 Phantasm Cuda, my phone rings. Guess who? the owner of the Cuda. Um, we got a lot done the last couple of weeks. Um, I was just telling the guys that 
Uh, I'm basically on the bottom of the car. I'm down to um, bleeding the brakes, adjusting the four speed rods. Uh, I need to fill the rear end. I... Okay, go ahead. I'll handle it. Just don't worry about it. I'll handle it, okay? All you need to do is have a checkbook ready. All right, bye. That didn't help anything. I'd have probably gone up and stomped the mud hole in everybody. We all just really need to pull together as a team and work together. What is it gonna take to get you back down there helping me? Well, D, I gotta admit it, dude. I kind of, I kind oh. of am having fun. Well, nice. I kind told of. you to get out of that shop. Just so we're getting hot dogs on the grill, guess who shows up? You know what, there goes the neighborhood, right? Mark. <laughs> and why did you just not <laughs> told him about any of this? He loves food and it's very obvious. I wasn't expecting Mark to show up. I didn't know Darren called. I mean, the idea was kind of just to get a break, but. Nice day. Evidence, squat, dump, and flush. Don't hack up park stuff with a, with a hatchet, you mindless. I'm, I'm hacking stuff up with a hatchet? You just stuck a hatchet in something you don't own. This is exactly what I expected. Darren's version of things are so diluted. Uh, hanging out in a, in a city park two blocks from the shop is his version of camping out. I had a suspicion it was something like that. I always pictured camping kind of one of those things where it was like, well, for example, a campsite. Sleeping bag, tent. Tent, yeah. Uh, in the woods. Sun. If I would have pulled up to the campground and, and here's this beautiful 100 degree day and everybody's laughing, kids are yelling and having fun, and the smell of filet mignons in the air, I'd have probably gone up and stomped a mud hole in everybody. Okay, fool. Normally I don't want anything from you pukes because you can't do anything for me, but I will admit I need some help. So, what? We could take you to the psychiatrist. I need some help. Some psychiatrist? I just thought I heard. What I want to know from you is what is it going to take to get you back down there helping me? A large sum of small unmarked bills. I have bills. no money. I thought you wanted help. I'm talking to Darren. I'm telling him I need him to come back and give me a hand. Josh, because I guess I'm in the somewhat same direction, thinks I'm talking to him. Uh, when do you need us? He didn't quit. Chips quit. He's talking to me, fool. Yeah, we'll go back. We got nothing else. You got exactly five days. Ice like that wolf. Hey, I got a week to finish the CUDA. The owner called. I'm really determined that we can get the CUDA done in a week. Um, we all just really need to pull together as a team and work together and get it done. And I and I and I thought for sure that he wasn't even going to care once the fall hit because I figured to sit there he done he has some big family thing coming in people from Russia hanging out at his house for two weeks. And uh, he wants that car there, or he's going to be very unhappy. You know, apparently the only reason Mark shows up is we just found out he's got a week to get the CUDA done. He just came here to get us, take us back so we can help him. Yeah. Uh, the black CUDA will be done in a week. It has to be. So we'll get it done. So I have to humble myself before you and ask, what can I do for you to get you back with the right attitude, not the wrong attitude, not whining to all of the guys behind the scenes and all the guys in front of the scenes and anybody that'll listen to get you to have a good attitude. You, you want to work on your car? Sure. No, do you want to work on yeah. your car? I do want to hear want you to say work? it. I want to hear you say it. Oh, I want to work on my car. OK. What would you like to do first on your car? Probably get it running again, just, just for the cuss. All right. Just start Do you plan on taking again. it apart after that? Mm -hmm. But you want to get it running first? Yeah, I just thought it needs to run for a little bit. Seems like deja vu to me, but OK. I promise you, I will work on your car. I'm not going to do the work myself. I'm going to help you work on your car. I'm going to purchase parts that I have borrowed, keyword borrowed, give them back to you over a period of time, a short period of time, a reasonable period of time, okay. and it will help you restore your car. 24 months. To restore your car, it needs a complete restoration, and you're not paying months. for it. Hey, buddy. <laughs> That's mature. 24 months is a reasonable amount of time. It has to come completely apart. I thought a year to... would be a reasonable amount of time. Are In addition to the 10 cars that we've got at the shop, why don't you be reasonable? I think it's stupid that I should have to take time away from the shop and come up here and humble myself before Darren. I'll keep my word. Is that a deal or not? Yes. Thank I'm holding you. you to it. You want to go there, no, I I'll don't snap go it. There. If I tell you I'll do it, I'll do it. But 
I'm not happy about it, and I will hold his hand to the fire, and I will make sure the car is done in 24 months. I don't care if he sleeps, I don't care if he goes through a divorce, I don't care what happens. The car will be done, I will keep my word. It was actually really nice to see that Mark made a deal with Darren. Um, I know along the line somewhere, that contract that they both had together is gonna be breached by somebody, I don't know who, but unfortunately, that's just the way it, it's gonna happen. Oh yeah, 24 months is plenty of time to get Darren's car restored. Um, you know, it, it's gonna take that in between all the other cars that we're doing. And I think 24 months is obscene. You know, I don't see why six months isn't about right, but you know, I, I concede for a year. You know, I'll be 50 in a year, my 50th birthday, having the car done, that'd be fine. What do you want, Darren? Car! Give him a car! Give him a car! Give him a car! Get rid of him! I can't stand him! Okay, I need to write down everything that we need to have done on the car. So I need your attention. Now that I got the three guys back, it's time to get refocused. Do we have all those parts? Yep. They're, I'm sure they're we'll checked in. I brought them into the assembly room, and I wrote up each and every item that needed to be finished on the car. Hood pin, shaker, carbs, wiring caps, under the dash engine compartment, and rear lamps. Headlights, grill, antenna, door glass, interior trim panels, dash radio, battery. We've got to get the windshield put in it. Front and rear rubber bumpers installed. <clears throat> Side markers, hood latch, power brake, booster, and master cylinder, and plumb out the front brakes. Steering column seats, carpet, heater box, wheels, wipers, pin and star. All lamps. Do we got it? So all in all, another amazing week with Darren Kirkpatrick. Darren the game Kirkpatrick. Um, <laughs> we did manage to get the uh, fuel lines, vapor return lines, brake lines all installed in the 71 Phantasm Cuda. Mm, you're welcome. That's good. Uh, the parking brake cables installed and adjusted. And you're welcome. Compliments of you and Royal. What else happened? Um, not much. Not much. Personal thank you kind of for that. Sounds like you got quite a bit done, really. About two hours of the work. Fuel lines, brake lines. So when you when you decide that you're going to get the guys to turn on me, <laughs> like the well, way you, you laugh, your little cheesy smile laugh, and that's fine, your little rat face. But do you ever stop to think that maybe, just maybe, you could help me a lot more by not stabbing me in the back, not talking about me behind my back, not trying to round the guys up like the Pied Piper and heading them off to some kind of a camping trip, but if you would have stayed there and worked with me and tried to help me, we might even be able to have the car done? No. You Do you feel any it. responsibility for the fact that I got my ass chewed out by the owner of the Black Kudu because no. it wasn't done no. and it needed to be mm -hmm. done in a week? Mm -hmm. Do you take any responsibility for chipping the right-hand door in the 71? No. That's one of the body bin's problems. Take any responsibility say. for stealing my tools? I, I take responsibility for taking my tools back where they belong with me, the rightful owner. We made a deal to get your car restored. Yeah, within the next months. six months? 24 months was the deal. I keep my word. If I tell you I'm going to do something, I will do it. Okay? Don't look at me. No, that's you. Do, don't do the cute face. Okay. Nobody's interested in the six cute months. face. And I got a chip in the right hand door of the car that has to be done in a week. So I'm really excited about that. I think that I'm going to look forward to getting the. Uh, Here's the chip. You can just put it right back in the door with some super glue or something. Is, is that the chip the, off the, the car? That's the actual chip out of the door. I picked it up off the floor in the shop. Mother f 